Oh, okay. So Kenny Pickett here. We're going to have to... This is where we're, we're going to cover a little bit of football tonight, chat. Okay? But I promise you it's for storylines. It's not because I'm talking about stat lines. Okay? We already covered a little football. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So chat, let me give you a little background to this, right? As somebody who is from the Pittsburgh area and have has lots of friends that are Pittsburgh fans, Pittsburgh Steelers fans, I know a little bit about this. Um, Kenny Pickett is a football player that played for, uh, what is it, the Pittsburgh Panthers in college? Um, I Pitt. Um, and the Pittsburgh Steelers literally drafted him in the first round. This dude was sliding, bro. I, I imagine he probably would have gone third round, okay? This motherfucker would have gone third round in the NFL draft. Now, the pay difference in the NFL from first round to third round is literally an insane amount, an insane amount. But the Steelers took him because they had faith in him that he was going to be the, um, the, the face of the franchise, right? Now, here's what happens. Russell Wilson, whole situation goes down with the fucking Broncos. Basically, there was a situation... Well, the Broncos overpaid pretty much for him to come to the Broncos. He didn't do well the first season. He then actually did really or pretty well last season. I think he is like, hold on, let me we'll look it up really quickly. Russell Russell Wilson. Well, I already misspelled Russell Wilson. Uh, 2023 20, stats. Fuck, I'm fucking fat fingering this shit. Uh, 26 touchdowns and eight interceptions. Really w well considering the fact that he did not play uh the whole season now i forget the exact details of it but basically there was a thing in his contract where if he like went against the coach um he could have his contract void um he could have his contract void and they would they wouldn't have to pay him any money if they cut him so uh the coach got on his ass because the coach doesn't like him um so, anyways, long story short, basically they cut him. They still owe him $39 million this year. He's getting paid $39 million. So, he went to the Steelers at the veteran minimum. Then, Ken Pickett, who they drafted in the first round, believed in, let suck for two years, pretty much, because he was... he was. He, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This motherfucker was mad as fuck, okay? They believed in him, and they got Russell Wilson, I would imagine, kind of as, you know... The Aaron Rodgers, Zach Wilson thing. Oh, hey, we're going to bring in a veteran that has succeeded in this league that has been a great quarterback. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers is a better quarterback than Russell Wilson, right? He's won four MVPs. He's probably going to fucking uh, go down as like a top five quarterback all time, right? Bring in a veteran. Let him learn from the guy. And then he's on a one-year deal. He's not guaranteed to be there next year. He might, he might be fucking gone. He might be ass. And they put Kenny Pickett back in. So then Kenny Pickett... Instead of going, oh, yeah, cool, I'll take some time to learn under a fucking veteran quarterback that knows the league well, that's been in the league for 10-plus years, he goes, oh, no, I want out. No, get me out of here. I don't want to be here. After this team and this fan base fucking had my back, I, I don't want to be here. Who do you think the better QB is as of right now, Russell Wilson or Justin Fields? I think it's really close. I think it's really close right now. But anyway, so here's the story. Here, here's the live reaction. Pat McAfee, A.J. Hawk, uh, Ian Rappaport. Which, by the way, I'm a big fan of Pat McAfee because uh, he delivers news in a very positive light for the most part. Uh, he's from the Pittsburgh area, and I've been watching him for like, for like five years now. Yo, sorry, I feel better, homie. Love and appreciate you. Oh, whoa, 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 who is plugged and has been plugged around the NFL for a long time, connected. Says, breaking, I'm told the Eagles are working to trade for quarterback Kenny Pickett. Yep. Rap, I saw you go down to your phone in a quick manner. We got yep. to really showcase that beautiful haircut you have. <laughs> that is and, true. That's true. That is true. Jeez. Wow. What's up, Greatish? Holy shit. Steelers are sending quarterback Kenny Pickett to the Philadelphia Eagles in a pick swap. Sources tell Adam Schefter. Oh, it's a pick swap? I thought they were giving them the picks. Okay. Of ESPN. That's funny. Once oh. Pittsburgh signed Russell Wilson, Pickett preferred to move on. So, nah. Oh. What Mac Jones get? A sixth. Is it a sixth? For Mac? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> what do we think? There was an exchange <laughs> for Kenny Pickett. What? 
What did you say? What do I, what do I think it was? Yeah. Uh, probably a second, if I had to take a guess. Oh, okay. A second? Nah. A second rounder. A second rounder. Uh, or maybe a wide receiver. Maybe Devonta Smith, uh, if I had to take a guess. Something like that. Oh, okay. Ow. That's what you think. Maybe Jake Ellis. <laughs> nah, dude. He's on copium. Nah, he's on copium, bro. Wait, they just signed him to a $24 million no, deal. No, we have. Boz is great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I wouldn't trade Boz, trade Boz for Ian. Rap, what was the trade for? Uh, I'm not sure yet. How's this? Come, how's this, okay? In real time, we're watching this. Okay, so now first layer of news was boom. Can he pick well, up and trade? I, I would say this. And then the, um, the the swaps end up coming afterwards from all of you people. You people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Normally there's a quote tweet. Ian is gobschmacked right now. Yeah, truly. Yeah, get it. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, oh, Ian. Truly gobschmacked. No. Yo, Nix, what's up, homie? How are you doing? Oh, probably. Fine, Sorry. No, no, no. I mean. It happens. There's a million moves in free agency. This happens. It's okay. This is the biggest one, though. Yeah, Sorry, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Keystone State. They're saying yeah. it is. Oh, which, by the way, obviously, Pittsburgh Steelers, Philadelphia Eagles have at least a bit of um, a bit of a rivalry. Okay? Kind of crazy that they're, he's going from being a Pittsburgh dude to a Philly guy. Man. Oh, Nick Sirianni All right. and Kenny Pickett. He's a Jersey I'm kid. I'm going to get to work. So, you know, he probably loves you guys. it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ian Rapport, figure it out, Ian. Boy, rap. right. <laughs> figure it out, Ian. You know what happened? He's, wow. he's upset. You know what happened? He's Russ, Russ is in the building today. They just blew the he blew the doors off of everyone in the building today, and they said we have no reason to even have Kenny around at all. <laughs> he wants to play seven more years. There are photos now being put on the internet of Kenny Pickett wearing – Philadelphia Eagles jerseys. Oh, yeah, dude. Jersey. That shit was so funny. Wow. Right back home. Okay. Get me out of here. Same exact thing as Mac. He want me. I'm in New Jersey. <laughs> oh, wow. Wilson. I don't know if me and Russell Wilson were supposed to hang out. Okay. We're a little different. Dude, my dumbass, when I saw this on Twitter, by the way, any, any sports fans will notice how fucking stupid this is. When I saw this on Twitter, I was like, yo, what? He... He looks so young rocking the A.J. Brown jersey, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Fucking Deshaun Watson. It's a Deshaun Watson jersey. Turns out he was afraid of a little bit of competition. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, yeah, Kenny Pickett ain't got that dog in him. Who? That was quick. <laughs> he was, he was, was never crazy. a stealer. Wow. Whoa, gosh. Oh, what the hell? hell? What is... No, no, Russ said today at his introduct introductory press conference that he texted Kenny immediately. He said, I'm excited to compete with you every single day. And apparently Kenny didn't want that. Kenny's oh. like, this fucking guy. I... Dude, I'm not going to lie. The reason why I wanted to cover this is because out of all sports stories, I feel like I can kind of give a little bit of a little bit of something here, right? I think this is a bad move from Kenny Pickett. I understand that he probably, you know, it was insulting in a way that they went out and signed a guy. Um, but the thing is, right, this, the fucking Steelers bet on him a bunch of times. Steelers fans have had this fucker's back a lot. I've seen Steelers fans have this guy's back a lot and say, oh, it's the system. The system's a problem. The system's a problem. Have his back. Um, and competing with a proven veteran like Russell Wilson is just going to make you better. I don't think... You can say that, like, oh, he's going to go uh, fucking sit behind Jalen Hurts and he's going to learn from Jalen Hurts. I don't think Jalen Hurts to Russell Wilson is a better scenario in any way. They are, without a doubt, not benching Jalen Hurts anytime soon. Jalen Hurts is going to be on the field. They gave him a humongous deal. He is not going to be benched. So there is no chance of Kenny Pickett seeing the field. There is no chance of, he, of him regaining the starter role in that sphere. And also, Jalen Hurts has only been in the NFL for, what, four years? Five years? I want to say four, three good years. He doesn't know how the fucking NFL works. He hasn't faced a shit ton of adversity, in my opinion. Um, I, I think sitting behind Russell Wilson in a team that has fucking believed in you for a while, Russell Wilson with the one-year veteran minimum would have been the much safer option. But I'm not saying, I'm not trying to shit on Kenny Pickett. I'm rooting for him. I hope that he bets on himself and he goes and gets another opportunity. I just, if I was in the same scenario, I would be like, yo, yeah, let me sit behind Russ. Let me learn from Russ. Let me compete with Russ for the starting role, you know? Yeah, yeah. Now that Russ is gone, Justin's taking the spot over Kenny. Yeah. When Russ is gone, yeah. Because that's the thing. I mean, you know, Steelers 
probably, you know, going to try and keep Russ. I would imagine if he plays really well a year, two years, you know, and then Russ is going to go probably to a, a final spot um, and keep Justin Fields. And Justin Fields, now, like, they wouldn't have gone and got Justin Fields if uh, the Steelers, or if the if fucking Kenny Pickett wasn't like, yo, let me fucking get out of here, you know? Can't take it. Not <laughs> yeah. even a hello. Yeah. Not even a hello yeah. from this guy. Guess what? We have one quarterback on the roster right now. It's we, that yeah. guy right there, and that's all we need. <laughs> Did you see his oh, style? Oh, mama, I'm in fear for my life from the long, 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 long. Can't even hear that shit ever. No, nope. Did you did you hear his sign off that he's going to be doing? I think after no. every single no. interview. Russell Wilson. Yeah. No. What is he said? He says it in there. Steelers Nation, let's weld. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Tassie Poo? All right, let's run it. What's up, Steeler Nation? Just signed, baby. Fire he is Taz. Here we go. Yep. Boom. Here oh. we go. Here we go. Oh. That's it. Here what we do you mean? He'll get the cadence a little bit. Yep. Here we go. Here. Either way, Kenny a bench warmer for a long, long time. Yeah, dude. Again, I hope I hope he's successful. I hope he he fucking turns out um to be a fucking great quarterback. But again, I don't know if this is the move. Here we go. That is Here, Here we, we go. go. Steelers. Yo, what's up, Eggs? How's it going, bro? Here. It's going amazing, by the way. Here we go. Pittsburgh's going to the Super Bowl. Here we go. Dude, I'm not going to lie, bro. The Steelers, I think the teams that have upgraded the most in this offseason are the fucking uh, the Bears and the Steelers. The Bears and the Steelers, especially with the Bears. I mean, obviously, they're going to draft Caleb. Uh, oh, my God. I'm blanking on his last name. Is it Williams? They're going to draft him first overall. Plus, whoever they get with the ninth, they've fucking been going crazy. Got Keenan Allen, got a bunch of defensive help, got some offensive line help. And then the Steelers. If the Steelers land one of these fucking big wide receivers, like Tyler Boyd, or um, who else were they going after? They were targeting another wide receiver. Bro, that'd be crazy. These motherfuckers are getting put in the WWE game. Shit's crazy. Pat's nowhere close. Bro, it's okay, dude. Yo, y'all got Kendrick Bourne. Y'all are fucking actually making some moves and shit. Wait. Who got who got Calvin Ridley again? I'm blanking. Sports is just an excuse for men to jump and chant cult spells. I, exactly, dude. I yeah. love it. Care power. <laughs> yep. Has no Wi-Fi. Here we go. <laughs> the Titans, dude. The Titans are an exciting team to watch. I'm not gonna lie. They, you know, they lost Derrick Henry, but I think that was probably good for both of the both sides there. Um, dude, I, we're gonna see, bro. We're gonna see how we're gonna see how Calvin really does, dude. Uh, him on the Titans is gonna be interesting. The um Falcons are gonna be interesting, dude. So many cool new storylines in the NFL. That part of the reason why I want to start talking about football and shit is just there's a lot of cool storylines in the NFL. He's on the show, but we can't hear his line. Here we go. And then you got Tomlin's birthday and another year where Russell Wilson. 90? Yeah, crazy. And Super Bowl cakes. Here we, we go. go. Yeah, that's... Is he fucking his desk, bro? That's been kind of the Steelers mantra. They asked Russ today, what have you learned uh, your one day... Walking around the city or whatever, and he said, "This town is about hard work, and that's all that matters." He can feel he, it. He got it. I saw him get his haircut from a Pittsburgh barber. Mm -hmm. Yep, he was shot now. Oh, did. Oh, dude, yeah, Amara. Fucking baseball games are so fun. I don't watch baseball very much, but going to baseball games so fucking fun, dude. Yeah, he got a Pittsburgh fade, <laughs> and that's uh, it's a good fade. He was in the weight room this morning with with Cam and TJ, so... And as soon as they walked in, he goes, what's up, boys? Good to see you. Let's ride. Here we, we go. go. And then he get to look. <laughs> and then Cam and TJ are like, Jesus. Happy birthday, Coach Tomlin. Happy birthday, Coach. Happy birthday, Coach. Great. Oh, Mark. Dude, Coach Tomlin's like, yo, I got one more year in this bitch. Yo, we gotta fucking make this shit work, bro. We gotta make this shit work. All right, fuck it. Yo, who we flipping these picks to? Who we flipping these fucking picks to? We are, yo, we got a squad. Fuck it. Who we flipping these picks to for players? Con over there. Who we signing? On the left, he said, yep, we did the Kenny Pickett thing, then we did the Mason Rudolph thing, then we now we have a guy for 1.2 million thing. Look at that birthday fit. Yeah, Omar. Tomlin's got the white noble that, that I have. Omar no, those has, are Jace. Oh. Yeah, those are Jace. Those are not noble. <laughs> uh, <also me. laughs> Omar has cleaned out all of the uh, past uh, GMs, huh. guys. I don't know if any of them are still there. Colbert? Mm -hmm. Wow. 
What TJ, about? TJ and Cam are still there, obviously. But yeah. other than that, huh? Oh, I thought you said something. Who? Gumpy Gumpy said. No, I thought Gumpy Nick said that Kenny Pickett was the bully. Oh, dude. Oh, to go to a baseball game? Nah, dude. If if the fucking baseball team sucks ass, you can get them for fifteen, bro. You can get tickets for fifteen bucks on SeatGeek. That's what the Pirates were last summer. It was fifteen bucks to go see him, and they were doing well too. They were doing fucking well, and it was fifteen bucks to go see him. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, if your team fucking sucks, sucks shit out of the toilet. <laughs> if your team sucks shit out of the toilet and nobody wants to go see them, yeah, fifteen bucks. Caboli's got to be so mad they could have kept Mason Rudolph all along. Steelers get number ninety-eight and two 2025 seventh round picks. Yo, that's actually good. Wait, compared to the other trades? Number 90. Hold on, let's He's back so it up a little mad. bit. They could have kept Mason Rudolph all along. Steelers get number 98 and two 2025 seventh Great. round picks. And 120. Eagles get Kenny Pickett and number 120. Oh, okay. So 98 and oh. 120 are pretty much. Uh, no, we move up 22 spots. Yeah, I Jeez. understand that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, that is the at mathematical <laughs> difference, and we are a big. <laughs> We're a big pie day. I mean, two seventh round picks. Two baseball games are great because when they're bad, it's even more entertaining. Yes, dude, you're really like, yeah, we're going to watch them get their ass beat. <laughs> you go, you wait till they play like a good team. You're like, yeah, let's see if we, they fucking they mercy roll these fools. <laughs> Program shout out pie. Yesterday was the pie day. Three point one six seven four five four two six four five. Do they sign like Jimmy G? Yo, what's up, Nixon? Now, or what? Ooh. You my fave YouTuber? Well, just, Yo. Nixon, have we talked before, brother? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I, I, you, you listen, pff, means a lot, brother. Means a lot. I appreciate you, dude. You Jimmy G and Rust in the same two games, room. right? Yeah, two games. Could you imagine, dude? Jimmy G, by the way, going to the Rams. Oh my God, Chad, I could talk for fucking forty-five minutes about that and how fucking funny that is, and how much I can't wait for the Niners to beat the Rams' ass this year. Okay, um, but yeah, dude. And one's slinging it, one's praying for it. Yep. I had someone pull up to my Madden stream on Twitch with the name Long Meat Matt. <laughs> no, that's crazy. You are on the fucking Jumbotron? Yo, that's a dub. I mean, be sick. here we go. Steelers, here we go. Danger Witch Garoppolo in the same room. Here we go. Would you fathom? That'd be great. <laughs> so you got to get a backup. Probably a young guy? Yeah, I mean... It doesn't matter. Get a Dude. young guy, let him follow Russell's leadership. Smart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jerry Dulac is reporting that they are sending Kenny out of town because he's not handling the Russ Wilson thing oh. uh, well, and he didn't handle the Mason thing at the end of the last season well, so oh. he didn't want to be here. He'd get out. So, you remember, he did give a couple answers oh. about, like, did you learn anything no. from the timeout watching Mason Rio? Yo, YouTube stream. By the way, if you guys are enjoying your stay, feel free to swing over to the Twitch stream if you prefer. Uh, first link in description. Appreciate y'all. For real. He's, no, nothing. Thanks. Next question. <laughs> Oh, shit. That guy's got a little sauce. Guy's that, guy, that guy's a little spicy. Well, he would view it as I was never really given an opportunity to be an NFL quarterback. I had Matt Cannon as my offense coordinator. Yep. Very true. And then when I had an opportunity with a new offense coordinator, mm -hmm. I played well, then I get hurt, then Mason Rudolph comes in, and he just lights it up, and I'm like the forgotten guy. I think he was probably pretty eager to potentially – showcase that if he was given the same situation with a new offense coordinator with these weapons how it would look and what it would be you remember preseason i was slinging all over the place was on my i dude i don't know again i feel like like this was his agents not allowed to negotiate who he went to like were they not allowed to pick because again i feel like the eagles is like if that's how he feels one of the worst situations to go into you know we I didn't know football to go in place. So that is probably where Kenny Pickett's yeah. anger and frustration lies. And with the Pittsburgh Steelers, whenever you get a guy for $1.2 million, it's like, all right, we're keeping our options open. Mm -hmm. A guy for $1.2 million that statistically was top 15, maybe at some points in the season, top 10. Yeah, dude, you're fucking winning. We, now, do, we do feel bad about that. We do feel bad he didn't get a legitimate shot without Matt Canada. But that sounded sincere. We do. Everyone hated Matt Canada. No one wanted to see it go down like this, but this is where we're at. Changes now, had to be made. Now we take one of those sevens and give it to Chicago for Justin Fields, and we got ourselves a No way! He fucking called it! Quarterback competition. Okay. All right, Justin Fields is a backup now. Are you guys paying him the fifth year or picking up a contract? No, no, because yeah. we're only giving up a seventh. We don't care if we don't pick up the Oh, one. and Justin Fields and Mulgan are going to be, yeah, you're right. That's what we'll do.
That's what. We'll do. All right, so uh, we're bringing in Tannehill then. He's reunited with our. No, 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 but no, no. I don't think any NFL team is like, oh yeah, dude, we're gonna fucking pick up Ryan Tannehill. We're gonna get him at a good value for this guy. Lovingly, I, I, Ryan Tannehill. Love rooted for Ryan Tannehill every team he's been on since fucking Miami, dude. I was like, yo, this guy's a baller. He needs. He's not a baller anymore. Okay, dude needs to go be offensive coordinator. Okay, or figure it out, bro. Artie Smith, he could be back. Ooh, up. that's not a bad idea. Like that, there you go. Tannehill, yeah. Russ feel like that could be a good little. Do we bring back mm -hmm. the past or not? Oh yeah, bring him back. Bring him home. Okay. Snoop Huntley's still out there too. Hey, Pro Bowler, a couple years. Yep. Yeah. CJ Beathard. <laughs> I don't bring. Him <laughs> CJ Beathard, that's so funny as a Niners fan. <laughs> you go, CJ Beathard, and him go, uh, <laughs> Speaking of that, we're going to be in Iowa next week. Hell yeah. CJ Beathard. I, I'm... <laughs> but yeah, dude, so funny thing about this is uh, Pittsburgh restaurant Permani Brothers is offering a $25 gift card for your Kenny Pickett jersey. Stuck with a Kenny, P or Kenny jersey? We've got you covered. Ah! <laughs> dude, oh my god, dude. They're cooking his ass. They're cooking his ass. Yeah, bro, you got this fucking horrible fucking football player's jersey that just got his ass traded out. Yeah, we'll give you a $25 gift card for it. Come on, get in here. We're all Steelers fans here. We all feel this pain. Uh, and then we'll scoot ahead over here, chat. That's so fucking funny to me. There was so, okay, here, let's cover this. Let's cover the fact that the, then the Steelers, like what's his name said? I'm blanking on his name right now from Pat McAfee's crew. Um, they traded for fucking, they traded for fucking Justin Fields. I was just watching the video about Neon. It was crazy, dude. Nixon, I know, right, bro? That shit was insane. By the way, Nixon, thank you again for the compliment, bro. Appreciate you. Again, if you want to come over to uh, the Twitch stream, if you prefer watch streams over here, feel free. First link in the description. Also, don't feel like you have to. Uh, Steelers coach Mike Tomlin was up front with former Bears Justin Fields and told him that Russ Wilson is the starter and Fields will work from there, which is honestly a good move in my opinion because, like, Russell was there first. Russell, again, probably had a better statistical year, and it would be good for Justin Fields to sit behind Russell Wilson another year. Um... The Pittsburgh Steelers just robbed the Chicago Bears on the weekend in broad daylight, getting Justin Fields in 2024, giving up absolutely nothing in 2024, and only giving up a 2025 sixth-round pick that might turn into a fourth-rounder. This is what we call big bank. Take little bank. Yeah, dude. That's insane. Justin Fields, what was he? Tenth overall? Somewhere in there, right? No, or no, that was Mac Jones. Was he like 12th, 13th? Somewhere in there, right? And then this all comes back around to the 49ers for me, you know. 49ers trading Trey Lance to the Cowboys for a fourth-round pick looks like an absolute steal now. Mac Jones traded for a sixth-rounder. Justin Fields traded for a sixth-rounder. Zach Wilson, nobody wants to trade for. Kudos for John. Kudos to Lynch and Shanahan uh, getting what they could for Lance. Yeah, honestly, the Lance trade looks genius now. I remember I was so pissed, bro. I remember waking up seeing that shit. I was like, oh, my fucking God, bro. It's so stupid. They look like fucking geniuses now. Uh, but yeah, chat, that's all we got for fucking football coverage today. 